Hello friends, trust the weather where you are is not as hot as it is in the UK right now. Anyways, I have something to cool you down if so, which is companies that recently acquired license to sponsor foreign workers into the UK under the tier 2 skilled worker visa or the tier 5 charity worker visa. And when I say recently, I mean those who acquired license in July 2022. And not just limited to July 2022. I'm talking about those who acquired the license as recent as yesterday, the 20th of July 2022. So if you are looking for companies to give you certificate of sponsorship to move to the UK as a skilled worker, I would advise you watch this video till the end. Hi, welcome to my channel Talk to Bemi. For those joining us for the first time on this channel, I share relocation opportunities and how you can leverage on it, save money and migrate to developed countries without paying an exorbitant fee to agent or immigration lawyer. I know relocation is not easy, it requires patience and planning. So stick with me to get all the required details by subscribing to my channel. Also turn on your notification bell so that as soon as I drop new videos or new opportunities, you'll be the first on the list to get these new videos. And for my returning subscribers, thank you for always taking your time to watch my video. Thank you for sharing. Do not stop doing this as it encourages me to do more. Welcome back. Some weeks back, I did a video visiting websites of companies that are currently in need of foreign workers and stated the need to always visit the government website for updated list of organizations licensed to sponsor applicants from outside the UK. And looking at the list, the last time I did this video, it was updated on the 7th of July 2022. And as you can see now, it has been further updated on the 21st of July, 2022. And the reason I say you don't want to joke with this site is that it keeps on updating because most of these organizations have noticed that most people are now looking for companies that can offer certificate of sponsorship. So those who do not have the license to sponsor applicants have now applied for this license to enable them to have wider reach to get applicants to come and work with them in their organization and i know that this list is a long one i mean i know it's a long one and it can be tiring as you can see it says that the pre this preview only shows first 1000 rows and 50 columns but it also said that you should download the file to view its full content so i would advise you download the file and when you download the file it comes as an excel format like this so you see with this you can be able to enlarge it to see what the content is and here you have the roots so for those who are good with that excel you know you can be able to filter for those who are looking for skilled workers you can see the skilled worker you can see charity worker creative worker depending on um the particular category or the roots that you are looking out for employers and on the first column that is where you have the organization name so say for example you've seen um the the particular routes you want to look at you just come to the first column and you copy this and visit the website to interact to see what vacancies are available however i have a a, a kind of um easier way for you to access it i would add the link in the description box below so that you can also look through so on this website now it's also the tier two but this one is just for the tier two sponsor so you can be able to see all the list you have the skilled worker the creative worker and different categories you can see the um um the town you can see the industry architecture legal computer science and you can easily filter it you can come here and decide to filter if you want medical care homes um it whatever you want so let's look at care homes so when you filter to care homes and you click on search you see it has filtered to bring out all the list of care home or all the list of care home that offers certificate of sponsorship and you can see down here we have 433 care homes so you visit the website and it's very easy because once you click on this 
it takes you to the website but that is not what i want to show you as you can see towards this side you see that this particular company got the license in 2019 this one got the license in may 2022 this one in um december 2024 and, and and the list just goes on but let me show you a secret when you come here and then you click on recent you see recent now it has brought the list of companies that recently acquired this license so now you can see look at this on the 20th of july 2022 20th of july 2022 20th of july 2022 let me not bite my tongue because i'm so excited so what you just need to do now is to come and visit each of the website unfortunately you can't filter this one because you've already done the filter to show the most recent ones so you just look through the industry to see what you want so if you are looking out for food and accommodation if you are looking at real estate if you're looking at working with a care home you know computer programming whatever the case is then you just visit the website i'm really excited so what i also did is i did i sent a mail to one of the organizations um this one is initial care services southeast.com so i sent a mail saying congratulations for recently being added to the list of licensed sponsor blah 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 i want to inquire if this organization offer visa sponsorship blah 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 and i'm still expecting the feedback from this organization though this is not the only organization that i sent a mail to i sent a mail to various organizations and as soon as i get a response i would come up and also let you know however this makes it very easy it makes your search very easy and even if you get any job um adverts or probably indeed or glassdoor like those that are using the various app all you just need to do is just to come and search here to be sure that that organization is actually on the list of tier 2 sponsors that can offer certificates of sponsorship so that is all i want to share with you today in my next video i'll be showing you various organizations visiting the website of organization that is currently offering certificate of sponsorship do not forget to like this video share and also subscribe if you haven't done so i wish you all the best in your job search and i'll see you in my next video bye for now